In the next 60 seconds, your tongue is going to snitch on your sleep, your vitamins, and your heart. And stay to the end, because one of these signs is an ER level clue you should never ignore. And before we start, tell me where you're watching from in the comments, or any story about your tongue you'd like to share. Here's how this works. I'll show you what to look for, what it might mean, the root cause angle, and what to do next. This is education, not diagnosis. So if a change lasts more than two weeks, hurts, bleeds, or worries you, see your clinician or dentist. Ready? Let's go. First up, scalloped edges, little tooth marks along the sides. If your tongue looks like it slept on a picket fence, I'm thinking airway, crowding, and obstructive sleep apnea risk. Bigger tongue, smaller airway, less oxygen at night. Root cause, metabolic inflammation, weight around the neck. Sometimes low thyroid or bruxism, which is the involuntary grinding or clenching of the teeth and jaw. Action steps, stop, bang, screen, as noted here on the screen. Check neck size. Talk to your clinician about a sleep study, especially if you snore, wake with headaches, or your blood pressure won't behave. Second, beefy red and smooth, like it's been polished. That's classic lasitis. Think B12 deficiency, sometimes folate or iron tagging along. Root cause, low intake, poor absorption, metformin, acid-reducing meds, or autoimmune gastritis. Ask for a CBC, B12, methylmalonic acid, and maybe a homocysteine. And if you also have numbness, tingling, or balance issues, move this up the priority list. Third, a magenta or purple red tongue. That's riboflavin, aka vitamin B2, waving a flag. Often shows with cracks at the mouth corners or a sore throat. Root cause, low nutrient density or malabsorption. Solution, real foods that carry B2 like eggs, dairy if tolerated, meats, even organ meats, or a balanced food-based B-complex vitamin while you fix the diet. If it lingers, look for other sources of deficiencies. Fourth, a thick white coating that scrapes off. Think microbiome turbulence or thrush, especially after antibiotics, inhaled steroids, dehydration, or a high sugar diet that feeds the wrong bugs. Rinse after steroid inhalers. Hydrate, reduce sugar and ultra processed foods. Use a gentle tongue scraper. If it's painful, persistent, or you're immunocompromised, see your doctor. Fifth, a pale tongue. That's a nudge towards anemia, iron, B12, or folate deficiencies. Root causes matter. Are you not getting enough or are you losing blood? Heavy periods, GI symptoms. Ask for a ferritin, iron, T, IBC, CBC, B12, and folate. Fix the causes, not just the lab number. If you're short of breath, having palpitations, or fatigue that makes no sense, that's not something to ignore. That requires a workup with your doctor. Number six, bright strawberry red with prominent bumps. Context is everything. If there's fever, rash, or a kid looks ill, that same day evaluation. Scarlet fever, Kawasaki's in kids, or other systemic issues can wear that look. When your tongue shouts and the body looks sick, don't wait for a second opinion from Google. Seventh, a blue or a diffuse purple tongue. This is the one I teased. If that color shift comes with shortness of breath, chest pain, or dizziness, think low oxygen. That's not a, let's see how I feel tomorrow. That's an emergency care now. I'd rather you get checked and be fine than miss a life-threatening signal. Eighth, geographic tongue. Map-like patches that shift around. Looks dramatic, but is often harmless. Triggers include stress, spicy foods, or nutrient gaps. The fix, gentle hygiene. Identify triggers and ensure you're nourished. Zinc and broad B vitamin intake often help. If it's painful beyond two weeks or you've got new risk factors, get some professional eyes on it. Ninth, black hairy tongue. I know, it sounds like a rock band. It's really keratin buildup and altered flora from smoking, coffee, certain antibiotics, harsh mouthwashes, or dehydration. Mostly cosmetic. Scrape gently. Hydrate. 
quit smoking and ease up on harsh rinses. If it won't improve, ask your dentist or clinician to take a look. Two quick honorable mentions while we're in front of the mirrors. Fish your tongue, usually benign, just keep the grooves clean. And any non-scrippable white patch, that could be leukoplakia. Get evaluated by dental or an oral surgeon. Quick mid-roll. If your tongue just tattled on you, hit like so more people find this. And subscribe if you want more root cause tools from a doctor who treats the person, not just the lab slip. Zooming out. Why does the tongue give away so much? It's highly vascular, has high turnover tissue that mirrors nutrient status, microbiome balance, and oxygenation. Scalloping links to airway issues that often travel with insulin resistance and visceral fat. Beefy red glossitis points to B12, the nervous system's best friend. So we don't want to miss that. Thick coatings after antibiotics or too much sugar reflect neighborhoods in your mouth that need rebuilding. Not napalming with harsh mouthwash, but restoring with better inputs. Here's a simple action flow you can remember. No red flags, mouth changes, do the basics for a month like eating a low-carb, keto, or carnivore diet. All of these diets provide high-quality protein, fewer ultra-processed foods and sugar, less seed oils, and the avoidance of grains, many of which lead to insulin spikes. And don't forget to hydrate. Scrape your tongue gently and sleep like it's your job. One or two red flags, like scalloping plus daytime sleepiness, or beefy red plus numbness. Ask for labs, a CBC ferritin and iron, TIBC, B12 with methylmalonic acid, folate, and full thyroid panels including TSH if you suspect thyroid. Three or more clues, rapid change or emergency signs like blue-purple tongues or strawberry with fever get seen now. And live by this rule. Any tongue change that sticks around beyond two weeks deserves professional eyes. Let me ground this with a patient story. A gentleman came in joking about his snoring. His wife was less amused. I spotted a scalloped tongue and a thick neck. He admitted to morning headaches and nodding off at lights. We did a home sleep study. He was diagnosed with severe obstructive sleep apnea. We started CPAP, lowered his carbs to tame inflammation, improved meal timing, hydration, and electrolytes. Over months, his blood pressure settled energy returned, and his wife finally slept without throwing elbows. It may have saved his marriage. Now that ER sign I promised at the start, a suddenly blue or purple tongue with shortness of breath, chest pain, or dizziness is a oxygen problem. That's not a let me finish this episode. Instead, that's an I'm on my way to the ER now. Rapid recap so your brain screenshots it. Scallop edges means obstructive sleep apnea risk. Beefy red and smooth, B12. Magenta, riboflavin. Thick white coating that scrapes, microbiome or thrush. Pale, possible anemia. Bright strawberry with fever, urgent evaluation. Blue, purple, oxygen emergency. Geographic, usually benign. Watch triggers. Black, hairy, hygiene and habits. Non-scrapable white patch, get it checked. I hope you never will look at your tongue the same again. And if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and tell me which sign surprised you most, scallop edges or magenta tongue. I'm Dr. Tony Hampton, here to help you protect your nest so you can live with energy, purpose, and joy.